Hi guys, welcome to Richard in the Kitchen. Tonight I'm going to be cooking up some navy beans with ham hocks. Soak these beans overnight. <clears throat> I'm going to put them on the fire. Man, I tell you what, there ain't nothing better than navy beans. Feels like a Sunday though. Anyway, let's get started and I'll show you how I do this. First, take your beans and what we're going to do first is we're going to put them in a strainer and we're going to sort through them to get down and out any bad beans or dirt and matter like that. Give them a good rinse. Doesn't take long to do this. And once we get this rinse, we'll put them in a pot and we'll soak them overnight. A lot of people say you don't need to do that. You can do a quick soak method. It's just the way my grandmother and my parents did it. Softens them up. Reduces cook time overall once you get all your other ingredients in there. Next, add your rinsed beans to about eight cups, six to eight cups of cold water. And add about two and a half tablespoons of coarse kosher salt. Let them soak overnight. Cover them up. After soaking my beans all night long, I want to discard the soaking water. And one thing this does is if you have issues eating beans, what soaking these beans do is to kind of break down the indigestible sugars, which causes you know all the gas and <clears throat> indigestion discomfort that you may have. So I always get rid of that water. The water was salted, has a lot of taste in them, but the beans retain a lot of the salt from the soaking water, so it's really not that big of a deal. This is just the way my family did it. So we'll give them a good soak, and then we'll start the process of cooking these beans. Okay, we've rinsed our beans the second time, got rid of the soaking water. I'm going to add some chicken stock. Really adds a lot of good flavor. If you find you don't have enough chicken stock, you can add a little bit of water just to cover the beans. At this point, I'm going to add two good sized smoked ham hocks. Some shallot onions, some shredded carrots, chopped up celery, about four cloves of garlic, and a good amount of pepper. You don't want to salt this because remember, we put salt in our soaking water and we don't want to over salt our beans and make them hard. You can salt to taste afterwards. I'm going to bring this to a boil for about 10 minutes. We'll cover and cook on medium low for about two and a half hours. Our bean water is just starting to boil. At this point I'm going to add a sprig of thyme and one bay leaf. Give this a gentle stir now we will let this boil for about 10 minutes, put a cover on it, and we'll cook them on medium low for about two, two and a half hours. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video when our beans are just about ready. I'm going to show you two things my dad did that really enhanced the texture and the flavor of these beans. So we'll see you on about two and a half hours. About halfway through, you're cooking your beans. Been about an hour. And they sure smell good. Okay, the thing I like to do is put about three quarters of a stick of butter, real butter, in with my beans to add some richness. <clears throat> Give that a quick stir. We've got about eh, another hour. Ham hocks are starting to come across along pretty good. All right, we're almost there. One of the tips that I have here that my dad used to do 
excuse to also add bacon bits and the bacon fat to his navy beans. Or really any kind of beans that he, especially butter beans. Man, I'll tell you what. All right. We're going to take this bacon and plate it up on this wire rack and paper towels. And then we're going to pour our bacon grease into our pot of beans. Is there anything better than bacon cooking? Smells good. Be sure and be careful when you're pouring your bacon grease into your pot of beans. Man, that smells so good. That with that butter and all those vegetables in there. Man, I can't wait to eat this, guys. All right, our beans are done. Been about two and a half hours. I'm going to take my ham hocks out. Set them aside. Now, something I do, because I want a little bit better texture. So, I'm going to spoon me out some of these beans. Look at that ham hock. It just fell off that bone there. And I'll show you what I do to get a creamier texture. Just take a whisk and start mashing up the rest of your beans in your pot. That will make it a little less soupy. Man, that smells good. I wish y'all could smell that. Alright, let's bowl these up. Man, I can't wait to eat this. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to garnish it with some scallion, the green part of the green onions. And take some of this bacon that I fried up. We'll give that a good mix. And we'll give this a taste test. Pardon me while I take a bite of bacon. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, let's get into this. Taste it. Mm -hmm. Man. Perfect. Like I said, you might have to salt to taste, but don't do that until last. And, uh, Sunday afternoon, going to have some cornbread with it. Feels like a Sunday, but it's actually not. It's 4th of July. Me and the dog, we're going to watch the fireworks on TV. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. And I'd appreciate it if you'd like, share, feel, you know, feel free to share, make a suggestion how you do your beans, and I'll give it a try. Till next time, see y'all later. Bye-bye.